Hello philosophers and welcome now to Tuesday. Well it looks like sunny and super aware. That's because the moon has moved into Taurus, which means your emotional consciousness is now speaking directly to your body conscious. And just so you know, in astrology, body conscious starts obviously with the body, but goes as far as your daily room, your daily space, your daily reality, your daily routine. So this is your aura house basically. And with the moon there, it means your emotions are one with your aura. So if your emotions have been going off on crazy tangents and you haven't really been getting enough rest, this is a time I see people manifest illness because all that vibration goes right into the body and you don't do anything about it. So you're on alert for that sort of thing. But you know what's compelling? I don't think that's what's going to happen this month. We are one day before light cast day. That's when the moon and sun conjunct, creating a new moon. And that's the best time, in my astrological opinion, to light cast or manifest reality. If you put your spell out during this period, you got the power of the sun and the moon behind your thoughts and will. And don't forget, the moon is emotions and the sun is, is actual logic. So having those two together really does make sure that you're going to have a powerful echo back from the universe. And really the most the best place for you to make change in the next 30 days is really with this manifestation focused on your daily reality. How's your body? How's your health? We've been talking about this all month. Are you happy with your routines? Are you happy with your coworkers? Are you healthy in the moment? Are you empowered in the moment? Are you focused on the moment? These are all the questions that happens every time the sun is in Taurus. Though this month, Sagittarius, it's a bit different because you're much more in control of your belief structure and you're also a lot more expanded as far as ego and power in the world. So it's an important manifest day in the next 24 hours. Lastly, I want to talk about Mars. Now it's shifting signs in the next 24 hours. It's been in the house of home, family, and foundation for you, really giving you a lot of aggressive energy to invest in that area. In the next 24, you're going to find all that mask on aggression moving over to creative projects, which does mean that if you've been on hold with something creative, good, good news, Mars is there to help you get it done. All right, Sag, that's all we have for Tuesday. See you tomorrow on Lightcast Day. Live, love, be. So